Yo, what up? Welcome back. We back with more Hogwarts, baby. And, uh, yeah, we've been kind of slacking on doing the story missions. And we're progressing a little slowly. And, uh, I kind of just want to play the game. So... He's been doing side missions, and he got to the Great Hall, and this is the first time I'm seeing it. Yeah, I, I, I play the game to, because I want to play, and I don't want to progress the story mission, so I just run around and be exploring stuff. And I came across the Great Hall, and it's gorgeous. Look at it's the, got uh, the schools, too, on the glass. Yeah, look at the color. Yeah. The glass is colored. Uh, some of these people, their hair is like glowing. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna progress through the uh, story missions here. We're gonna see how far we get. Get stuff done. Let's go to the border, Jay. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is. Garlic, to how fitting. Oh, dear. oh here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Hey, she, she kind of pretty. <laughs> oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our She garden. pretty? You pretty? Uh, you what's her name? Adelaide? <laughs> I forgot her name. She's in the back there. I've seen her. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing... We're going to be pulling them like little babies out of the... ...is knowledge. <laughs> They're the, the, the man, pots. Mandragora. <laughs> more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. <laughs> now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuba... Known tuba? As the ...mandrake root. Accio. Mandrakes, let's go. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> Stuff them in your ear all the way down into the canal. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tentacle. Oh, here we go. A firm tug. Oh, golly, I gotta do it. Is yours fat? Yo. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem. What? Oh. That was the left stick, but whatever. <laughs> and why? he just shuts up like that. <laughs> why, do students, why do students need to learn how to do this? Like, what's the, what's the practical, of, like... Because maybe a student resonates with herbology, you know? It's another avenue. It's like math and, you know, science and stuff. Yeah. So maybe this is what they want to pursue when they get older. Yeah, because we all know we don't use math out of high school. I'm very sorry yeah. about that. Yours was a bit <laughs> mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work. Yeah, she's a she's a doll. Hmm. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to her. Yo, so uh, Bro, that's your homie that like literally bailed you out of like getting in trouble. Yeah, that's Sebastian, but like he he's spitting game right now. <laughs> so give it up for the boy right there. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp on. Why, why do you look older than her? <laughs> maybe she's a student teacher. So like maybe we can. Uh, have a, there's an acceptable uh, range in your all's ages. I'll say. <laughs> Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Oh, Let's yes. Some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. Yeah, dittany leaves, leaves, they make the wiggle well potions, and you know, I, I need that. A prepared student is found. <laughs> Have you figured out your healing? I've arranged you <laughs> no, not really. Well, this might be this might do it for me right here. Cuz you got to make the uh plant the seeds there now. You got to yeah, brew it, right? Yeah, you got to plant the dittany seeds. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. All right, we're going to make some uh cause, yeah, cuz you got one whole healing item. <laughs> yeah. Or roses. Oh, there's Adela. Oh! Yo, Adelaide. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in. Maddie's like, get out, dog. <laughs> get out. What? You, what is she doing? <laughs> Who? Oh, I helped him. That's a side quest. He he uh 
I had to go get a leaf of that so people would stop bullying him. Oh yeah? And the leaf shows, uh, he was gonna show, like, he's brave and all that. Is it because of his glorses? Yeah. <laughs> his glor <laughs> his glorses. <laughs> As you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Alright, we plant in 10 minutes. Okay. Wow, that's what? real time. In uh... You can add fertilizer, uh... Okay. Well done. Once it can be harvested. It was this like Monster Hunter, and you can you have like your own like little garden. Yeah, I'm gonna have to every day yeah. grow. Yeah. Okay. Don't know about that. Now, yeah, I bet she looked real, real pretty if she unbraided that hair. Different sort of flora. What's wrong with the braids? Chinese Nothing. I'm just saying it would look. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a deer and let them have a good chomping. Hey, she yes, called you a deer. Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's and I called her professor. Bridge leading out of <laughs> Your class <laughs> kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Oh, dear. My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants Beba that have Beba the plants. <laughs> well, imagine that wasn't Bro, that, that thing just <laughs> flew right out of his chest. <laughs> he has become one with herbology. Do they they're, no they're create they're making the, the bottle the vial of death or whatever. The living death, yeah. yeah. Who's teaching? Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth year, don't blow us up. Be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. I need all the potions I'm getting. Tell us why this particular potion might come in handy. Yes, Professor. I can tell you. Yes, Professor. When you're about to die, you drink it and you don't die. <laughs> you press the down button and you live longer. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. Oh, I got this all day. You Let's go. When you might need it. Please Looks like Homie needs to brew a potion to help that lamp he's got. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make some, uh, you what's that, guacamole? Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yeah, you heard that right, because I'm star student. Say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew you jealous? Potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary... He's a Weasley! Opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Bit of a prodigy? Oh, wow. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps Yo, that's my mom. Me for comfort. <laughs> but she can't be everywhere. Listen. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient <laughs> that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're he wants me to steal it. Hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather. As you'll already be a in the office with his permission. Is that a Pokemon? Perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh... I ain't stealing, dog. I mean, okay. you, you didn't pronounce it right. It's it's Pokemon. Won't miss it. I Pokemon, right. Pokemon. Fruit feathers aren't that valuable. Wait Fruit. until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I dare say one drop would be enough to kill us all. <laughs> all right, well, they've got a nice animal pelt right here on the deck. <laughs> oh, some giant eggs. Yup, give me all that. Where, where's the giant feather? Okay, it must be this. Ugh. Okay. Uh, here, take that. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to. It was literally, room. literally in the room right next to you. I don't know why you, you asked me to go get it for you. <clears throat> okay, I gotta make an Edros potion. Things that cannot be rushed. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And be thorough. Uh, can I make another one of those? 
Because I need wiggle wells. How you do this? Okay, just put a little pepper in there, a little bit of salt. Uh, okay, cool. Well, that was bloody easy. <laughs> oh, that's the ghost. Dude, what's up with this room? Yeah, this is where all the students practice. Levitating yeah. and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. <laughs> it's, all, it's all got an explanation, you know? Vibrating. This game is bloody brilliant. It, it is, looks, isn't it? It looks quite beautiful. There's the Great Hall right there. Yeah. What's that little, uh, little island? Mm -hmm. Right there is a... I think... The, the uh, site for Dumbledore's grave, grave that's shown in every movie subtly hinted at if you've ever noticed that every it's every like wide shot powerful. of the uh, castle all movies. has that island for his grave at at some part in it I am well but I have been worried about you my friend with Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you I'm alright at the moment we did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were. See a bug just like. <laughs> yeah, that one to my left. It just disappeared. <laughs> it just there went. Was... Stop. <laughs> uh, I am hoping you might tell me why you were there. Okay, yeah. They want something that. She cool. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her. Be honest with her. You had Gringotts. Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? One yeah, what if she a spy? It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Well, we're gonna have Professor to. Fix we're gonna do it out. A connection to a powerful form of prodigy magic. versus prodigy. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces. Did of you just humble brag and call yourself a prodigy? Otherwise, explain. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm acing all these classes already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. We I should kill him. Something that day in Hogsmeade. <laughs> which is, yeah, which is why I'm spying on you, because he's threatening my life. <laughs> and I wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit not by and, and destroy my new home. Wait, what? That's just bad timing on the I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> well, I... Rookwood is going to destroy, destroy her home. homeland? Uh, is I, that what she said? I'm not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. I thought Rookwood, Rookwood is just some random there. criminal. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock. He he working with Ranrock though, and that you know the little goblin dude, and he ain't. Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operation. He means business. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard <laughs> some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember. I'm going to be a double agent. <laughs> Thank you, Natty. Be on your yeah. Look at that bug, bro. <laughs> it's just chilling there. <laughs> <laughs> And then it, <laughs> it just faded out. Hey, it apparated. Yeah, these it's, are the bugs. It's practicing. Yeah, it's they're all... apparition skills. Uh oh. Hey, boys, y'all got a problem? Y'all got a problem here, brother? No idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a dog shit nip back your time. Oi. What? Speak of the day. Hey, boys. Mr. Put the walls down. A word with you. Oh yeah. You can't be safe. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. Let's go, Nora. Let's go. I'm. I'm gonna show you up real quick. Peep this. 
I love how you give them warning shots and then you go straight to this. Just like <laughs> throwing boulders at them. Hey, peep this. Expelliarmus. You dead. I'll see you. Have fun. Hope you can swim. <laughs> what? I ain't scared of you either, dog. He trying to be Voldemort. Wow. What is this? I ain't got time to read that. I'm killing people. Oh. 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 Women well. You get rocked right now. I don't think you're too far in the story, by the way. Did you just turn that person into a barrel? <laughs> <laughs> I killed that person. That's what I did. I don't think you're too far because these enemies are level 16. They're matching my level. Ah. Hey, Nora. I've never been accosted. So we just uh, we just murdered like every people. Nor we gotta I, talk, I, hun. You, you literally threw a boulder. So what what you gonna do about hiding these bodies is what I'm asking. What is this? That's a giant tractor, brother. I tell you, that's one of them John, John Deere. That's one of them new models of John Deere right there. This must be the place. All right, we got a bunch of side missions here. Helen lives around here somewhere. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough. This is a cozy little area. I reckon Brookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. I could use some gold. Hey, it won't let me tip, dog, so, uh, you know, <laughs> good job. <laughs> How do I get into this house? Right. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Hello, dearie. Let me just get this note here. Don't look. Oh, my gosh. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware oh. of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Uh -oh. Anne, I think. That sounds terrible. Last name Black. How I can help. Anne's ally oh, well. was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And do you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based... Completely so random, but like, isn't there an actual serial killer that, like, something doll? I don't doll? understand. What can I do to help? There's I Jeffrey Dahmer. Solved the uh, first puzzle by now. But after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former <clears> self. <throat> she won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust. And she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. Hmm. What a horrible story. Yo, can you, you go to Azkaban in this game? I think we're going to Azkaban. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to Oh, uh, let's go. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Uh Let's go. I'm ready. Well, is this the main story quest? Steady yourself. We'll apparate yeah. together. D 
Don't worry, I've never splinched anyone. Oh, uh, splinch. And tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Take care of me. Hopefully you don't puke. All right, we're going to Azkaban, baby. The men tolls. Spectre Patronus. Expecto Patronum. Hers is a rabbit. Let's go. She real one, she bad. I thought to keep them at bay for now. Though be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. Don't worry, it's chocolate. It's a dismal place. We'll be out of here soon enough. Now, Do you have chocolate? <laughs> All right. They look a little skinny. Well, they're missing their lower half there. Don't look or speak to anyone. Not before I cast uh, uh, Vada Kedavra. Hey, how you doing? This is what you don't do: is get near the, the, the doors. Your wit has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. What is that I hear? Perhaps death in all its mercy. Uh, is this it? Are we? Uh, what do you want me to do? The school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student oh my. from Hogwarts. Yeah, was this uh, Undead Berg? Dark Souls 1? Is that, is that <laughs> She Got Hollow? The beginning of yeah. Dark Souls 1? The mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Uh, we're speaking in riddles now? What are you trying to say? that the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield. Hogs, hogs, field, field, ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Ellen, Ellen, know you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? Um. <laughs> She's cursed now. Your heart. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once again. <laughs> that I one square t uh, there was that one literal square of texture that, <laughs> that didn't load in. But Madam Thistlewood, I... Hey, oh, brother, you didn't see any of that, did you? I'll find it. Lumos. My dearest Anne, well done. You've solved my puzzle. I knew you were a kindred spirit and the only one with whom I can truly share my adventures. Meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest as soon as you can. And I will show you the map that I mentioned. There is no telling where it will lead us. I found it on the pages that Peeves ripped from a secret book and no one else seems to be able to find. I haven't any idea what lies ahead, but I'm glad to know that I, sh I shall share my future with you. This is only the beginning. Richard. Yes, I'm terribly glad you found this as I would have gone on alone if you did not. And what fun would that be? No, from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was he to blame at all? He he died in the Forbidden Forest, obviously. Oh. 
Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Well, you we can just tell me exactly what happened. There's no need for me to investigate. <laughs> I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? Well, she's uh, not well. <laughs> she was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be moldering away with the rest of me. Tell so can you what, tell me what it feels like to be beheaded? The edge of the Forbidden Forest. And I'll show you precisely where to find them. Uh, how did you lose your if head? You don't mind me asking, how did you lose your head? I was having Describe it in vivid detail. I sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, lightheaded. That's all I remember. Hence, hmm. if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Thank, Thank you. you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. So, like, you just gonna... <laughs> there it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Whisper the password. Where? Ah, oh, yes. Intramuros. Oh my. Are you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But. Uh... Ow. Is that the best you can do? I will. The power of Thor. Oh, yeah. Dude, you better die. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Freaking attacks, man. I need to throw them cabbages, man. Yeah, have a cabbage. <laughs> hey, they're doing work. Look at that. Yo, them cabbages going in, dude. <laughs> Do they follow you? Probably not. Oh, I see. Oh, I see they blow up. I see this chest in here, though, with all kinds of lovely spiders. <laughs> all right, let's see what we're doing here. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Defend yourself. Lovely. Yeah, big damage, baby. Let's go. I'm a seasoned warrior now. Yeah, you see the skill? I'm out here, baby. Let's go. Oh, these dudes hit quick, though. Accio. 
All right, no doubt I'm gonna have to fight one of those. False time, but I've got ancient magic that doesn't work. Fantastic. Oh, I dropped, he dropped his weapon and then he just gets another one. <laughs> oh, can I kill him ancient magic? <laughs> Die, bye. There's one. Oh, good. Oh! Alright, what? Oh! Let me No, the wrong one, dude! <laughs> All right, all right, let's go. Hit him with that fire on his way down. I'm gonna save the ancient magic that I don't have. I thought I had it. <sighs> Is there more? Wisps, they're telling me to game. restricted section. Oh, I could have used them cabbages. See, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm so focused on just doing my magic. Oh no, the room's starting to flood. Uh, well, that's a bit of a problem. Just cast the bubblehead charm. What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Well, how do we get out of here? By cutscene. Yes. What is this place? Wow. This looks like a lovely dueling room. Yeah, this is a this is gonna be a boss fight right here. Someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability to see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Well, that sucks. Very well. 
I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. So now we gotta go to the uh, strategic section, right? I have unlocked talents. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. Well, the, I've missed out on a lot of that. <laughs> um, you have new talent points, okay? Cool. Is it, we got a tree right here. Oh, you have 13 points available. Wow. You've earned talent points starting at level five. You must, you must spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells to increase combat power, stealth, and more. Choose wisely. Talent points may be only be spent once. Oh, this is where we can go into some dark arts. Yo. Hopefully you can increase your uh, inventory space. Stealth. Let's let's uh, let's see what we got in the dark arts here. Imperio. Dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all. Stunning curse. Stupefy has the same effect. Disarming curse. So your regular. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Your regular spells like and uh get back down. There's a Vada Kadavra. <laughs> so go down. What? Your regular abilities like Expelliarmus and the other one. What was go down again? And Stupefy now calls curse. So then if you get oh. the other skill, which is go right. So a curse target inflicts damage to all cursed. So it's like they all take damage it's, if you've hit them. Well, it's like evolving the current thing. Is that how it is? So the the Expelliarmus will curse right yeah. there. Yeah. Well, this is this. Oh, there's Crossa! Crossa! <laughs> Yo, Avada Kedavra though. <laughs> We gotta do that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna stop right here. We're gonna end the video right here. <sighs> I really like the uh, those talent things. We're now getting a lot yeah. more like involved combat, and you know, I I'm gonna <laughs> finally get into some upgrades. No, but I think I'm gonna have to do the Avada Kedavra. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like it's a quest though, because it's that was only like a like an upgrade for it. D like, I don't. Well, I guess that's how we've been you been getting. Spells. It was level like, based. It was like yeah. twenty two or something. But I'm intrigued to try it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna end the video here. We did uh, a fair amount today, but instead of us trying to like coincide our schedules together so that we can film together. Basically, what he's saying yeah. is, uh, yeah, I, I'll probably be doing some solo recordings uh, every now and then. And, and then, then I'll jump in. Whatever. Then he'll jump in when he's free. free. But uh, we're going to end it here. I appreciate you. Look at my boy right here on the bridge. <laughs> Thank you for watching. God bless you. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>